Paper was like gold in medieval times. I want tobacco. Sugar. That everything we thought we knew about the world might turn out to be completely wrong. These brides have spent their whole lives dreaming of the perfect wedding day. Kate Midland eat your heart out. But these brides have absolutely no say in their big day. I don't no, like it at all. Is, no, no. I it. it. doesn't suit me. It's not me. Because they are leaving all of the arrangements in the hands of the groom. She's kind of cool. But can they really trust their men with the biggest day of their lives? I want you to think mega. Might as well have a bit of wind up as well. <laughs> <laughs> what have you been doing? For Mr. and Mrs. O'Key! It's the gamble of a lifetime. <laughs> but what if it doesn't pay off? Go ahead. I will. I will. No, I'll kill him. Tonight, car crazy Ian wants to get married on a racetrack. Don't be a fool. He's going to go ape shit. I don't think he's going to go too mad. Surely he's going to know what's going to do it for me. But Bride Nikki just wishes he'd put the brakes on his madcap schemes. Here I am. What is here I am. Will she share his wacky sense of humour? If I'm organising the wedding, I guess I'll have a bit of wind up as well. Do you think of something like this? The one. The red one. Can this man give this woman a wedding fit for a romantic novel? Or will it be a comic book disaster? I like the finished product. Dubliner Ian and male girl Nikki live together in Lusk. They love going to the beach, ice cream and each other. He's a mechanic and she's a guard. And four years ago when they met, he was delighted to find out that she wanted to take down his particulars. I seen Nikki in the car and her friends were messing. And they said, the girl in the car wants her number. And I looked over through the window of the car. I'm a country girl though, that's what made you go. Oh yeah, but I didn't know that at the time. I well, couldn't I hear, I could, speaking to me. Yeah, but I couldn't hear you speak in the beginning. Oh. I just seen you drive away in the car. Oh. If I, I had heard the accent that time, I don't know. <laughs> you don't even dress yourself. How are you going to dress me? Give it a good go. It was the moment that changed both their lives. I knew straight away the minute I seen him. And obviously he did as well to come in and give me his number, so it was obviously instant. Their hearts have been in each other's custody ever since. Now it's time to make things legal. Then it just went from then, and we went to the beach, went for days. Obviously, water and the beach is my thing, so. Oh, they're a very loving couple. They're really into each other. I know she mummies him the way I did, so that's a good thing, I suppose. No, she's taking over, yeah. Nikki may wear the trousers in this house, but she also washes and irons them. I just continued on the way I was. He just continued on the way he was, but Mommy wasn't here. I do nothing in the house. I don't even do the hoover. This is after ever. I work a 10-hour shift every single day, because I work full-time. His sandwiches are made. His dinner is put into his lap. Oh, sweet Jesus, like, Nikki, get a grip, you know. It's not like, oh God, I have to go and do this. It's just automatic. He doesn't even need to ring me, put on, put on the water, because he knows it's a guaranteed thing that I do for him. Baby, your bath's nearly ready. Put in his little matey, you know, into the bath. <laughs> is it hot, is it? Of course it's hot. Loads of bubbles. I'll get you up here. They're like two peas in a pod. They just seem to have great old crack when they're together. You know, they're always laughing and messing. They're very well suited. And when they're not busy in the bathtub, there's always plenty to do with little three-year-old Alfie, who's probably less work than his dad. <laughs> Planning a wedding is a serious business, but Nicky worries that this hasn't really sunk in for Ian. He, he's so cool about the whole thing. That's what's making me worry even more. Like, if you told me now that I had to organise a wedding in three weeks, I would be panicking. And he's just cool about the whole thing. He reckons he has it sorted. Everything's going to work out fine. It's just that it's my choice for a change in terms of what we do and how we do it. So I'm going to make the most of it. He's very easily led. Nine times out of ten, yeah, I'd be the one down the lane. <laughs> if I get my way, it's going to be mine and Ian's day. We'll have to put something in for Nicky but 100% going to be us. Oh dear. He will be in the doghouse for a long time. 
There'll be no baths. I'm gonna hide the stopper. There'll be no lunch, no dinner. <laughs> the forecast looks chilly. Today is a busy day for them. It's time for Ian to move out for three weeks while he puts his master plan into action. Actually, Nikki looks a bit busier than Ian. If you're buying another car there, I swear to God, I'll kill you. And in three weeks' time... You will not know. If you've any more cars, that's it. And here's a picture of the two of us, OK? Put that wherever you're staying. And here, I'm not packing your work clothes. You can do it yourself. Talk about being unreasonable. It will be difficult when I do leave because I will be used to ringing Nikki quite a lot and she'd ring me quite a lot. They'd be pointless phone calls, but you'd hear our voice. I'd say I'll cope because I'd be so busy. It would kind of take my mind off it. I was in Australia for two weeks without him. Even with the time change, if it was in the middle of the night and it was his daytime, I'd set my alarm to wake up and ring him. Not having to make his dinner every day is going to be, I'm going to be bored. <laughs> He's going to be gone in the next 10, 15 minutes, and then that's it. Three weeks on my own. From now on, Ian is on his own. There's nothing I can do, it's completely out of my hands now. This is probably the first time the mechanic has broken down and not the car. Pick up Alfie. A bit of retail therapy, maybe. <laughs> Hopefully in three weeks' time, it will all have been worth it. It's going to work. Ian's best man is Bezo, and when they get together, it's usually about cars, buying them, selling them, and fixing them. Actually, it's not all about cars. They like the occasional motorbike as well. But all this has nothing to do with the wedding, does it? So what's the game plan? Cars. Naturally. Main team. Naturally. I'd say so. We wrote that down, cars. What about location, though? We'll have to put something that she actually likes into it. Like, she loves the sea, so maybe we could do something around the sea. On a boat. Something on delivery. Or maybe in a boat club, something like that. Yeah, there's the guard of boat yeah. club on the Liffey. I'm sure they have function rooms and stuff like that in the place. The guard of boat club, that's a little bit for her as well now. Yeah, so it brings a bit of her job into it too. We do one under the water team. But we can do all that ourselves. We can run at the Eastons and get like cardboard cutouts and make all that ourselves. Cardboard cutouts? Like we could get cutting the scissors at home and stuff like that. Bit then of large. Related, obviously, where we go with um, Mondello, somewhere like that, a racetrack. Do you think they'll be able to let us use the track? It's the worst that can happen. Should I get married to me? <laughs> what about suits? I've no idea. There's a Batman team suit. An actual Batman suit? There's a, no, it's not the Batman suit, it's a suit with Batman emblems on it. No way. She'll hate it. That'd be different as well, wouldn't it? different. Definitely. So far, it's cars, boats, underwater, and DIY props from Woody's. And the possibility of Nikki hating it seems to be a huge plus. But, blissfully unaware, she's off with her mum and her stepsister Roisin to find the tree lined fairy tale venue that she's always dreamed of. I like all the trees. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, it's like, my God. It's like a castle. Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful, Nikki. It's absolutely oh, it's gorgeous. stunning. Nikki is back in her home county at Mount Falcon Estate in Ballina, County Mayo. Oh, yeah, very Hi, well. how's things? A Victorian manor house set on 100 acres of lush parkland, featuring private salmon fishing on the River Moy and falconry displays. Not a rally track in sight. This is our reception area where, on arrival for your wedding, your guests will join us here for a glass of champagne, maybe hot whiskies, uh, depending on the time of year. 
and this uh, is where your wedding reception will be taking place. It's not like your traditional setup. This is the round table, oh, top table. Perfect. That's what I always wanted was to be down with everybody else. And color wise, we've just set it up with white today. Perfect, so white, a little bit of pink, maybe. Yay! Cheers, Cheers to, to Ian. Ian. <laughs> I love him again. I love the table, the way it's laid out. We're with everybody. He won't have a wedding without pink being in somewhere or water being no. in somewhere. It's absolutely amazing. Dream, dream, dream venue. He knows that I like to think I'm a princess and everything's really girly. Castle, water, it's perfect. So, perfect for Nikki includes a castle and lakes. Unfortunately, the boys see things differently. They're heading straight to the Shangri-La of car lovers, Mondello Racetrack, which they think will do nicely for the wedding ceremony. Normally what we do is we set the room up into kind of two sections, theatre style up here so you can have the ceremony kind of facing up that way. It's kind of just a room. It really is, like... Well, you also have the views over the track. If you close the blinds here, we're in a room. And back in County Mayo, Nikki is discovering that a room doesn't have to be just a room. Oh, oh, that's amazing. This is going to be where I go. Oh, savage. Let's go. Oh, savage. <laughs> oh, savage. <laughs> oh, my God. I just, I just need this for my morning. Absolutely outfit. beautiful. This is a full one, so if Ian is still in bed, I'd like, hey, baby. Hey, baby. Do you want to come in for a bath? <laughs> what? Ah, stop. I'm here doubting myself here. No, he will be grand. But he will do something just to set her off like. Why are you getting upset? Huh? It's perfect. I know. But he won't let you down. Fully confident in him that he'll do a good job. Because if he knows what's right for him. Back at Mondello, just when it seemed it couldn't get any worse. Is there any way we can incorporate the track? Can we get, can he get married on the track? Get married on the track. Or something near the track. Nice. Instead of walking up the aisle, maybe the bride could do a few laps. What about Pickard? That could be a winner. Well, we have 24 Pickards that run the length of pit lane here under all the corporate suites. Because we're going car team. That's car team. I mean, we can take you down and have a look. There's no problem at all. We can set it up that we have our guests sitting this way. OK. Facing out that way so we can put the, the chairs either side. And what we can do is we can have uh, Nikki coming in pit lane and she'll actually just come in through the shutters here. So. I'm getting married this year as well, so I little or no ceremony wedding, so everything I kind of want to do, I'm just going like, to try getting in to do. So it's a win-win for me. He gets all the slack and I get to have all the enjoyment. This is definitely it. Yeah, brilliant. She's gonna go ape shit. <laughs> On race days, this area is used for pit stops. Poor Nikki's wedding day really could be turning into the pits. Meanwhile, at Mount Falcon, Nikki is putting her fate into Ian's hands. I don't think he's going to go too mad. He knows what I like. He knows what tick my boxes. But surely he's going to know what's going to do it for me. Blind faith from the bride, but at Mondello, the lads are racing ahead. Has to work with our budget though. What, what did you have in mind? From zero up, is it? Zero up, exactly, yeah. <laughs> budget is very, very tight. Yeah. Well, we do 900 euro and get you Nikki coming in, out for a bit of a hot lap with one of our, our racing drivers before the ceremony. I do love the place. What do you think? 750. Tell you what, let's call it a deal at 850. Perfect. Is there any chance of getting out on track today? Yeah, definitely. Look, it's a bit damp today, but definitely, let's go and get you suited up. Yeah. Let's, go. let's go. <laughs> let's do it. Boys and very fast toys. Poor Nikki never stood a chance. Well, we've decided that this is where we're going to have the wedding. Sorry, myself and Bezo, so this is where we're going to go. I'm sure she'll have something to say, but this is what we're going to do. This princess's fairy tale wedding ceremony is scheduled to take part at Mondello Racetrack. We have uh, Nikki coming in pit lane, and she'd actually just come in through the shutters here. So. And after exchanging vows in a car shed, what better than a boat trip along the river in the heart of winter to Ian's choice of reception venue? What's the plan? I was thinking maybe bring her on a boat up and then we could just dock in here. After we've left Mandela, 
Yeah. Where she says I do, hopefully. Yeah. You want to put her in a boat? A boat and bring her up this river here, yeah? Most of the other stuff is kind of for me with the cars and that kind of stuff, so I'm going to try to bring a bit of the boat in for Nikki. She's in a wedding dress. Yeah, but part of the team, like, it's only for a couple of minutes. It won't be too long in a boat. She could get into a nice warm reception and it'll be fine. Yes, a real treat. A trip to the Garda Boat Club where she's a member and can come any day of the week. She's going to kill him. She's going to kill him. Just looking at the water today, she's going to be blue with the cold. He's a brave man. And if the bride and her dress survive the wedding ceremony in the car shed, followed by a cold and windy boat trip, Ian will have delivered something really special in the Garda function room. Between 70 and 80, look, so there's all the room in here, like. And you could definitely do the under the sea thing, like, the boat hanging off the ceiling, that's a start. Ah, oh, she may forgive you. She may some forgive kind of you. a theme, like uh, the seaweed and stuff hanging out the ceiling or something. Paper mache, we can make stuff like. He's like, you could have a top table up there and we'd have all our chairs around and tables around here. Like, I'm well impressed with the place, yeah. Definitely. I think this is what I like. While Ian ploughs home with his Riverside Spectacular, including seaweed, Nikki is back home in County Mayo, where her dad Sean is hungry for information. What's going on? Any news from it? Oh, Daddy, sure look at I know nothing. Any old date yet for us? No. Not a thing. You so you have so? no control at all? No, and that's not like me, is it? I wonder how he's getting on. I'm dying to see what the turnout will be, seeing that Nicky has nothing to do with it. I hope I'm not left to pick up the pieces, ah, but I don't think I will. <laughs> do you think he's going to organise transport for me from the house and all? Sure, if he doesn't, I offered him the tractor and the transport box and box. You'll be able to get into the back court. If not, that, I'll give you the jeep. You can hop in the back court. Sure, you may as well tie me onto the tow bar. <laughs> do you think he's going to do a decent job? I think he is, yeah. And if he doesn't? Well, he'll have me to answer that. Good stuff. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Back at the Garda Boat Club, Bezo had to shoot off to work, leaving Ian to face catering manager Rosemary and general manager Liam on his own. And he might have to do a little plea bargaining. Now, I've worked out a menu roughly here for you, for 70 people. OK. It would work out uh, at 3,400. OK. OK. This all a shock to the system, is it? It is a bit, yeah. yeah I wasn't expecting it to be that yeah. fair enough, to be honest. Just, is there any wiggle at all on the price, two and a half? No, I don't think I'd go to do two and a half. I'm stuck to a budget, like... So two seven is the final. Two seven would be the best I'd be do. fired, yes. You drive a hard bargain. My points are cars for living, <laughs> I know well. <laughs> I want to go back and talk to Bezo just about the pricing and stuff like that, but it ticks all the boxes the whole place. Uh, I really, would really like to have the reception here. Nikki is a girly girl who spends a lot of her life wearing a uniform, so her wedding dress is a really big deal. My dream dress would be Cinderella ball gown. Sparkly, big, very big, and no veil. Nikki, have you any idea what you're looking for? I haven't went dress shopping before, so I, I, have, I have an idea what I'd like. Fair enough. Why well, don't you have a look around? I'll okay. take a few and see what you like. She can look all she wants, but it's Ian who will be choosing the dress she wears on the day. Very beautiful. I'm not mad into lace. No, I think it's a bit old fashioned or something. Yeah. Look at the back of it, isn't it beautiful? Yeah, it's lovely. I'm looking for like ballroom, ball gown, like kind of big. Oh, wow. Oh, it's a princess dress. Wow, amazing. Meanwhile, Ian and Bezo are on the case, and it's not a great start. I have no idea what kind of dress I need. I want. I have no idea until I start looking. If she's wearing a nice dress, could save today for me. He's petrified. He was texting me all night, what happens if you don't get the right one? She'll bore them if this rest is annoying. With all the boats and cars involved, she'll probably need something seafaring and resistant to engine oil. What style that you're looking for? No idea, don't I? No. no idea, OK. The challenge is on, but these poor lads are more at home changing attire than with wedding attire. Something like more plain. No, not really, no. Or you, that one in the window, even. I thought you were joking, did I? Yeah, no, no. No? no that's a no. That one's not bad, just So is it a maybe or a definite maybe? That's a definite maybe. Maybe definitely is nearly 100%. Maybe maybe around 80%. And then a maybe is just 50 in the middle. We don't know yet. What? Yeah? yeah. As in, I like that one, yeah. yeah? Yeah, I like that one. So this is above definitely maybe? Yeah. Is it? Yeah, that's white, isn't it? Mm, care if you say yeah, we're done. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. a definitely maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Can you collect me? Uh, maybe. No, is that a maybe or a definitely maybe? A definitely maybe, go on, I'll do it. It's always definitely maybe. It may be a case of maybe, maybe not, or definitely maybe, or not. But these boys need to find some way to make a decision. 
That's funny. One's heads, one's heads. That's heads. Throw heads. You'll catch it. Tails. Tails. Could be that one. No, you can't. Can. We have to see what it looks like first. Go against we the head we, of You have to put on a bottle. We can't just see it off a hanger. Unaware that the dress of her dreams is being chosen on the toss of a coin, Nikki has found her dream dress. Strapless and simple, and nothing like the sparkly princess she thought she wanted. Absolutely oh, gorgeous. Nikki. Isn't it fabulous? Love it. Yeah. Not anything that you thought you would like. This is it. No diamonds, no nothing. Just nice and plain. A little bit of lace. I love it. It's perfect. It's beautiful. Look oh, at my tree. <laughs> It's oh, it's beautiful. It's a pure princess dress. It's beautiful, Nikki. I love it. This is it. This is the one I want. He's not going to have a clue what to feel. <laughs> I think I'm the only one that has a bit of faith in the poor lad. He knows. If he knows what's good for him, he'll get the right dress. He should know by her style by now. Ian O'Shea, you better work your magic. Meanwhile, the lads settle down for their own fashion parade. 20 minutes and we have two dresses. One dress, toss it a coin, one. I don't know all the fuss about it. Some women, they could take months to get a dress. Sometimes years. <laughs> Sometimes they'll never be happy. <laughs> I'm the whole marriage in the dress. Yeah. Well, if you wrap this up early, we could get down for a quick point. Yeah, I don't They chose this dress on the flip of a coin. Now, with Nikki's happiness at stake, they have a decision to make. That's it. That it? That's it. Don't. Just that was relatively easy. Do you want to actually stand up and have a look at it? Or are you just going to no, sit in a chair? Yeah, that's it. That's it, yeah. You sure? Yeah. That's it? That's it. So you're yeah. done? Yeah, we go with that one, yeah. Okay. I like that. Yeah, I really like that. Yeah, I'm happy with that one. So sparkly and princessy, they're going for what Nikki thought she wanted. But although it may be what she wanted when she started, she no longer wants what she thought she wanted anymore. Anything that's not this is not going to be perfect. So let's just hope. He finds an identical dress, and then it'll be perfect. This is going to be the last time I have my dream dress ever oh. on. My nerves are gone in case he doesn't pick the right dress. I'll kill him if he doesn't. I'll kill him. What's all going to Well, you're looking at this dress. It is this season's dress. It's 1650, and then the hair piece is 100 euros. So you're looking at 1750. Way over my budget, though. Okay. Way over. Double. Well, oh, double. <laughs> double, yeah. What is your bottom Double line? the budget. <laughs> you know, it's all about the bride. I know. It's all about the budget, too. <laughs> bottom line, I could nearly meet you kind of not quite halfway, and it'd be, you're looking at maybe a thousand euro for this particular dress. Can you go a little bit there? You're really killing me here. So 800 euro, you've got a deal. The deal of the century, but it's the bride who may have to pay the price. Yeah, I think Nikki will like that dress now. I think she'll love it. Hopefully. I think I made a good decision. Thank God it's over. That was easy. Now, Ian isn't really your top hat and tails type, but he's making an exception for the wedding. He's ordered some specialised, custom-made, classy tailoring for himself and the lads. Oh, my God. <laughs> They're good, aren't they? Yeah, for the business, all right, but I'm just glad I'm the uncle, not the best man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking of wearing superhero suits, something different, like, uh, I'm not really into the blue suit and brown shoes. Just bring a bit of colour and uniqueness to it. Bees are convinced we'd get these, yeah? He did, but I like the finished product. I was thinking about the afters, if you want to go for a drink to calm the nerves. So are you happy enough? Of course I am, yeah. I can't believe he's actually walking up the aisle. Well, walking through a garage and you, you, you can't write that stuff. Yeah. Everyone happy? All right, Go. Right. Back to the back here. Well impressed. There ought to be a law against it. Nikki is on night shift and finding it hard being out at the loop. So she and her friend Lucy have called a case conference. So how are you feeling now? Truthfully, freaking out. What's your worst bit? What are you most afraid of? That I'm not going to get to wear a dress at the end of the day. What if he put you in a stig costume? Oh. <laughs> Made you wear a helmet? Like Lucy, I'm wearing steel toe cap boots every day of the week when I'm working. The least you can do is put me in a dress and make me feel like a princess for the day. I have a little surprise for you. Cheer you up. Because I definitely need your enough. Love her. Oh. John? Yeah. Looking good. Hopefully, Hope. I'll be looking good on my wedding day. And relaxed. Well, that's something I certainly need to do. Let's give us on the next one. Oh, I love you. <laughs> Unfortunately, there was no love heart promising that the groom would cop himself on. So, Bezo and Ian are up to their old tricks. 
Oh, you, you'll never guess what I don't do today. I got my man to ring her and organised to bring down my passport from the house. Your my passport, yeah. So she, I'd say she's up the wall, thinking that I'm so going out of the country. Away. Yeah. Oh, proper order. <laughs> if I'm organising the wedding, I may as well have a bit of wind up as well. Oh, that was a good one, I liked that. And how do you feel about him being gone now? Just, it's, it's so hard. Going to bed on my own every night and everything. Waking up but he's not there. Don't even know where he is. He might not even be in the country. Had to give his passport to his mother the other day. Where is he? Sure, I don't have a clue. If he's looked for his passport, maybe spend the money on a stag. Hopefully whatever he's doing is good. And not anything too crazy. I, I got the clown sort for the hands. She's going to do like a clown class. The clown's dressed Nicky up as a clown. And send her out for the night, yeah. She knows how much I know. She hates clowns. A lot might overcome her fear, you never know. Or I might tip her over the edge, OK? All right, she's going to fairly upset. He says that like it's a good thing. Next day, and there is a woman behaving very suspiciously on the River Liffey. My hen party! <laughs> we are not going to Cochrane. How do you know an Fear of clowns is known as coulrophobia, and Ian has decided it's kill a cure time for Nikki. Nikki's not really seeing the funny side. I can't even watch the mind petrified is on. He knows this. I just this is my phobia. And everybody else has a different phobia. This is mine. The prank was well intentioned. The results are a disaster. I remember when I was in third class in school. I was so young. I just I just hate them. I hate them. I never even brought my son to a circus. That's how bad it is. It's not over yet. Ian's instructions for the hen night involved Nikki dressing as a clown. Maybe it's time for a compromise. Please promise, promise no clown. Promise, promise, <laughs> promise no clown. Sure, you've already threatened me once. I couldn't, I couldn't live with myself. I'm wearing this not too bad. I didn't have to wear the wig. And the clown, Ollie, took off her makeup, which didn't make it too bad. His joke inside, he went a little bit too far. He did. Meanwhile, the lads are on their stag, and surprise, surprise, it involves cars and dirt. It had to be car related, obviously. The whole wedding was planned around cars. But the hen continues, and Ian has organised some luxury transport for the last part of the night. They're called peddy buses. <laughs> the bar. We just sit on a cycle and it brings us around. <laughs> but Ian has thought this through. First the girls work up a thirst, and then they stop at a pub. Lots of pubs. After several stops, it seems that love conquers all. I love him so, 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 so much, and I always thought he could never do any wrong. But after tonight, I can't even speak. Forgiveness might take a little longer. I miss him tonight because I want to kill him. I think, you know what, I'd rest in my life with him. Payback is sweet. The lads have reached their favourite bar in Malahide, and his buddies are determined to put the cuffs on Ian before Nikki gets the chance. Oh, God, I hope you go guard you have a that bike. Next, he's taken into custody. <laughs> <laughs> and sentenced to public humiliation in the main street. The real sound. The real sound you are. I'm not missing that right now, no. I'm not really going to share this minute. Do I look all right? With no time off for bad behaviour. Good night. Enjoy your night lonely on the road. Having survived the hen, Nikki gets a chance to catch up with her sister Tasha. Time for therapy and nails. So are you worried that he's going to go for a really tacky themed wedding or...? I think it's going to be very boyish, like cars. Like loud cars and...? Yeah. Oh. I know, I know, Ian. He can't get it. 
so wrong. He can't. Even though he's already messed up the hen, he cannot put me through any more torture. He has to live with me for the rest of his life. But for Ian, there's no turning back. As he sets off to organise the bride's transport, the wheels are in motion. Very, very big wheels. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, maybe, yeah. The bigger one, the red one. I hope to be able to bring Nikki to the church, obviously, in Totuk, because the last five years have just been literally Totuk for me. It's different, and I like it. The wedding is days away, and Ian is definitely doing things his way. He knows Nikki loves the water, but does she really want to spend her wedding day sailing into the Garda Boat Club? After we've left Mandela, yeah. where she says I do, hopefully, yeah. you want to put her in a boat. A boat and bring her up this river here, yeah? Part of the team, like, under the water team. He's staying with his parents until the wedding day, so at least he can get a second opinion. Just having problems with the boat now. And his mum doesn't seem convinced. Thanks. What do you mean you're having a boat? Bring well, a boat, boat, yeah, for bring down to reception. Have you thought that one through, Ian? Like, I mean, what's going to happen with our dress? It's not that far of a boat or anything, yeah. you know? He also has big plans for the wedding invite. I have to still ring Nathan Carter. Nathan Carter is playing the wedding? No, no, he's not saying I'm going to get him to give Nikki the date. With boats and Batman suits on the agenda, Ian may just save the day if he can get this right and bring Nikki face to face with her favourite star. So I got in touch with his manager through the website and he's happy enough he gave me Nathan's number to give him a ring. So one of the concerts is coming up on Friday. I'm going to try to get him up on stage. Maybe he might even sing our song and then give her the date in front of everyone. I think she'd really, really like that. Ian has enlisted the help of Nikki's sister, Tasha, who's taking Nikki for a girls' night out as part of his master plan. She has no idea, but this is no ordinary night. Do you want me to get the first round or do you want to have a drink at Nathan Carter's gig that Ian organised you to go to? <gasps> Something right? Yeah, I think. Oh, finally, something good. <laughs> something oh, great. Something good in that. The concert was sold out, and Ina's worked hard for this, convincing the venue to allow the girls space in the camera booth so Nikki will have a private view. What do you think of her t shirt? It's very sparkly. Nikki may just be in for the shock of her life. I just like to touch him. Liverpool. I thought well, I'm going to ask you a little favour. There's a lovely lady called Nikki in the audience. Uh, where's Nikki? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm wondering if Nikki come down. I want to bring you off to see Nikki. Maybe. Maybe Nikki will be wrong, boys. Just sit up there. Well and truly off guard. Next day, and Ian is going from a show band to a band of gold. But these wedding rings are on a tight budget, so it's a trip to the pawnbroker. Here, pick up the rings. 
Oh yeah, Lord Mr. Lebanese, Shire, yeah. isn't it? That's it, yeah. Yeah, yeah I just decided to come in here and buy them something different, like into the pawn shop. Something that I would have done years ago, so I just decided to come in here and go about them two rings. Yeah, that fits perfect, yeah. Alright. A lot more expensive, obviously brand new in the shop, like, but one of them is actually brand new as well, so it's nice. That's great. Happy with that now. It's another job done, out of the way. One more day to go. Very little left to do. Nikki is still on an all-time high after Nathan Carter's wedding invite. But that could change very quickly if the bride doesn't get her dream dress. And she is about to see it for the first time. But sure, look at how wrong could he have got it like? He can't have got it that wrong, I hope. She says about the man getting married in a Batman suit. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. There's nothing I can do now. It's completely out of my hands. Getting nervous. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, all excited. Bit. Here we are here. I'm only giving you a little taste. Okay. Wow. <laughs> I like that bit of it. Now for the moment of truth. Okay. Yeah, and we'll get you started. I'll lead you the way. Yeah. Good luck, Nikki. Good luck. Good luck. I think you look good, is it? While Nikki gets ready to see the dress, Ian and his trusty best man Bezo are beginning to wonder how to get Nikki and the dress off the boat when they arrive at the wedding reception. But the boat has to stop there. Yeah, I know it has to stop at the edge there, yeah. And there's about six more for it to weigh it through. Ian may not have thought this through. Any can be. Take off your shoes and socks, roll your trousers up, throw Robin's shoulder, you hold dress and then put it. Are you wanting me? Are you really wanting to do that? How else are you gonna get out of water? Lift the dress, you meet the wellies. Well, it's pissing me out, I imagine it's going to be late tomorrow. Better not be tomorrow. So, the plan is, half an hour after she gets married, the bride and her dress are hoisted off the boat in the rain and thrown across Bezo's shoulders. But that dress doesn't look very waterproof. Oh my God, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you love it? Love it. He did well. It's amazing. Dolly Parton, Jesus. <laughs> oh, I That's love gorgeous. it. Love it. It's amazing. He did well. Very well. But it seems you can't please everybody. Do you like it? Do you? Yeah, it's lovely. You don't, do you? <laughs> Ian may be in trouble with his new mother-in-law. I am disappointed. I would have preferred, you know, something. You know, it'd be grand if you were out somewhere really hot, you know, because it'd be lovely and warm, but it's freezing. And there's nothing for over her shoulders. But for the bride, the dream is coming true. She seems happy in it and she likes it. So it's her wearing it. It's not me. Yeah, I love all the sparkles and I love the little pearls. I've more faith in them now <laughs> for the wedding day. So what do you think, this or your dream dress? This. Way nicer, way nicer. Love it. And you can't ask for more than that. Regretfully, I'm going to say he did well because I didn't think he would do that well, but sure, look. It's always the quiet ones, isn't it? It's shine true. Delighted for him as well. He's not going to be killed tomorrow. <laughs> Less than 24 hours to go. Time to dress the venue to the underwater theme he chose for the reception. She's big into her underwater team and she does diving and she likes fish and crap like that. So this will kind of go down a treat and this might be a saving grace. But that whole jetty malark outside. She's gonna fucking more. I'm not sitting down, I'm on the case trying to get the goldfish. That's for the goldfish. Yep. Are you joking? No. Nope. Don't die. Why? Because it has to be able to swim. Yeah, we'll be able to swim with that, you only get one. Even Bezos worried. But little does he know they're gonna die anyway because they've only two centimetres of water. The team is feeling the pressure. You getting stressed again? <laughs> I have to go, I'm getting daggers. No, he says he has to organise JP. Yeah. Really calm down, Ian. I swear we're getting married tomorrow. And as interior designers go, Ian makes a great car mechanic. You can bring it up to there, Bezo, and then across this way. And then get the white one going the other way. Off, booking somewhere over there, through that chain and over that way. <laughs> it looks like a piece of cloth. Hell, look, yeah, well, that's why I'm saying fucking spread the thing out. I just don't have your vision. <laughs> Right, look, here, look at a picture, right? And I'll show you a picture of it. And then you see, can you fucking make it? So, no, that's not it, obviously, because it's true epoxy boat. <laughs> <laughs> that looks exactly like the picture. It looks so easy in the picture. 
this could be a long night. The big day has arrived, and at Bridal HQ, Nikki's sister Roisin is finding plenty to sing about. <laughs> but the bride still has her fingers crossed. I'm really hoping it's not going to. There'll be more dramatic scenes. I don't mind. I don't care what he looks like. I just want to see him. Meanwhile, back in Gotham City, or Ian's parents' place. I'll wear this again, like. That's what I'm going to wear a wedding to again. <laughs> you wear this again. I say she'll see this funny side of it. She's not going to go mad about some random things. It's only Sue. We only saw him get married in the Batman suit. Yep. Says it all. And it's not just the groom who's going to the dark side. Here comes the bridesmaids. Don't peek. Black. Black at a wedding. No. No. Funeral, maybe. <laughs> if it's any consolation, they go perfectly with Ian's Batman suit. Disappointment for the bride, but the Batman are all suited up. And heading for the ceremony on a winter's day at Mondello Racetrack. After a black start with the bridesmaids, Nikki is in her dress and ready to face her family and friends. Oh, he was only seeing you five minutes ago, I'd be like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Cinderella does it fish. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Don't. Come on, Zach, come on. Cinderella is going to the ball. Ian, I'm coming to get ya. Let's hope the bride's not superstitious, because the ceremony's in garage number 13. And one man's red carpet is another man's car mat. You know, I've said this about eight months now. That was going to be the fucking least of your worries. Take the spare wheels out of the car and wait for Okay, every bride wants something big and eye-catching as her wedding day transport. But seriously, this... She's lucky you didn't go for the Batmobile. I don't know, I hear something really loud. Oh my God, oh my fucking God. Oh my God. Look what's coming. Well, there goes my horse and carriage, fairy tale wedding anyway. She dreamed of a Rolls Royce. She got roadside rescue. Oh, Ian, you're so dead. I'm going to my venue in a truck. Oh, what hell? She have to go somewhere. Bridesmaids in black and a HGV. Nikki is wondering where this is all leading to. Oh, I thought we were going down there. I'm like, where are we going? Thanks, Ours sir. is killing me, John. Where are we going to out here? Like, this is mental. Deep into County Kildare, her destination is revealed. Mandela, fucking race track. Is he having a laugh? And before she walks up the aisle, a few laps at 200 kilometres per hour to warm her up. Hey, yeah. Ian has arranged for one final fling. <laughs> you <laughs> <bring> for a spin? <laughs> oh, my God. Ian, his fellow Batman, and all the guests are waiting patiently behind the shutters, hoping the bride survived to make her final pit stop as a single woman. Nikki is so relieved she hasn't even noticed she's getting married in a garage. Finally, the penny seems to have dropped. Your marriage will be a great journey of surprises, joys, and miracles. Nikki, you are my best friend. You understand me better than anyone. Please wear this ring as a sign of my love. Ian, you were too my best friend. 
but I love how you support me in all that I do. Please wear this ring as a sign of my love. I have great pleasure in presenting to you Ian and Nikki as husband and wife. Ian, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Nikki and Ian are finally back together, and Batman has some explaining to do. I was thinking the worst things ever, but it just got worse. Like, seriously. <laughs> How could you do that to the girls? We're not at a bleeding funeral. Yeah, but it's cold. You have to know the suits. But like, why didn't he even just get black suits? Yeah, you're smiling at them. They're just... You'll never forget them. No. I don't have a clue where we're going. Next up, Trinity Bow Club. Not a guest in sight, just one very worried, very cold newlywed. Where are we going? <laughs> As happy ever afters go, this could be right up there with the Titanic. Nikki's trying to think of something romantic to say. I won't divorce you just yet. That was the whole idea, you love war. Yeah. So I'll get you in the boat. Yeah. Married five minutes and he's already asking her to fake it. Instead of looking free, and look happy here going in. Look, everyone's standing there. Make them think that I've done a good job. <laughs> Nikki is taking married life one step at a time. I have to keep your ass up in the war. She is so shocked that she doesn't even recognise the venue. Really? Oh my God. <laughs> Nikki has seen the Garda Club hundreds of times, but it never looked like this. Oh my God. Under the sea. Yeah, it's lovely. Under the sea, too. With moving table decorations. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, the poor fish! Are they real? Yeah, they're real. Oh, Does it kind of feel like under the sea? Yeah. Oh, wow. Very, very good. I love it. I nice, love it. it. Yeah. Thank you so much. Paul's forgiven. Paul's not forgiven yet. <laughs> It may not be the dream day she was expecting, but it certainly turned out to be an unforgettable one. To tell you the truth, I seen the white and blue, and I was like, has he done this all in Dublin colours on purpose? I was like, where's my red and green for male? No, it is a testament to him. He, he, he pulled it out of the bag. Fair play to him. I think she still hates the suits. I, I don't really know why. Can we all be upstanding and raise a glass for the newest bride and groom, Mr. and Mrs. Ian O'Shea? 100% safe. Fixing cars, even a party party, I wouldn't let him work. <laughs> I can't wait to run him another bath. I cannot wait until he comes home filthy and just make his dinner and be able to make his dinner every day like I was. Just, just back to normal. Against all the odds, Ian has sailed this wedding all the way to a happy ending, almost. The only thing I'm a little bit annoyed about is the suits. They're, they're ridiculous. I seem to like Batman. <laughs> is it done. even comfortable? Yeah, no, it's a proper suit. Look, as lining enough. That makes it all better. It was more so to get, get annoyed. It would just be different. You're that all right. Oh, that was a nice one. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs>